Hello, you lovely, lovely people. Welcome to another quick play session. Now, you remember a couple of weeks ago, I played Super Mario Brothers on the Commodore 64, but of course it wasn't Super Mario Brothers. It was the Great Gianna Sisters, which had been modified to include some Mario sprites. Now, now this time, we're on the Spectrum. And this game was actually created for a competition, the Your Game 2002 competition. Uh, it's, a, it's a Russian thing, and it came third. There's some other games which, it was, I think it was five games in total which were placed. Some of them are pretty good. I might go through them. As you can see, we've got a nice little MPEG-4 video intro. Now, as with a lot of these games, they're only playable on a Spectrum with TRDOS, and most of the Russian clones have TRDOS. But you could get TRDOS for the British Sinclair systems. In fact, TRDOS was, was a British... Uh, concept. It was made by Technology Research Limited, UK, and you could plug their beta disk system into the back of your Spectrum 48k or 128k. So it's possible to run this on a UK Spectrum, no problem. Uh, as you can see, also I have mouse control. This is because of the wonderful thing that is the Kempston mouse interface. Now, I'm not going to run it in turbo mode because I like to try and get things as bare to the bone as possible, you know, as raw to the hardware. So we have four grounds, we'll have no stars, and we'll start it. Oh yeah. It recommends turbo mode, and you'll see why in a second. I'll try it with turbo mode in a second, but I'll show you how it is normally first. Now this is actually rather impressive. No, he's going behind the foreground. That's pretty impressive. I like that. Doesn't even do that in the um, original Mario. As you can see, it is uh, a copy of the first Mario on the NES. But we've got some slowdown. And that's because this is a Spectrum. And <laughs> Spectrums don't do hardware scrolling. This is all done in software. Which is rather impressive. And Spectrums don't do sprites or anything like that. So when you think about it... We've got smooth scrolling, we've got Mario music playing through the AY chip on the 128k models, and it's rather delightful, isn't it? We've got, ah, oh, double enemy smash, I like that. Uh, this is a demo, so there's not, I think there's only three levels on this, but impressive nonetheless. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Mid-air squash! That was some skillful, lucky, fluky work there. This is really weird playing this game with the QAOP It's It's weird playing Mario on a keyboard, in fact. Really strange. There was actually another Mario game which came out for the Spectrum in... Oh! Shh! 1999. <laughs> this is by far the most impressive. The other one hasn't got scrolling, it's got flip screens. Jump, Mario! Good work, my man. Uh, this one actually came out in 2002, as you'd expect, as it was part of the Your Game 2002 competition. And we got, got speed up now, we've got fewer enemies on screen, and it slowed down a bit. It's still perfectly playable like this, because it's not like... The controls are responsive as hell still, it's just, it's just slowing down a little bit, and I can cope with that. Especially as we get music playing. I mean, what would Mario be without the music playing in the background? It's a pretty faithful rendition, isn't it? Of course, the uh, Spectrum's sound chip is probably better than the NES sound chip. The NES had something quite similar. But the Spectrum 128K sound was pretty impressive. It was comparable to the Atari ST's sound. Which, you know, the Atari ST is proclaimed for its music, but that is only its MIDI capabilities. Its sound capabilities were a bit lacking, other than its sampling. It could play digitised samples quite well. Oh, here we go. On the flag! Oh, that's a piss-poor performance, Mario. Alright, let's move on to level number two. Two. This was actually made by, it was published by Perspective Group. And of course, as it wasn't released as an official game, and it was many, many years after the first, oh my god! After the, first, after the first Mario, there's no legal problems with this particular game. You may see the foreground is flashing somewhat as the Spectrum tries to 
completely redraw it every few seconds. No, I've done the same thing again! The Spectrum is redrawing it all the time so that it can keep up with the scrolling. That's what happens when you don't have hardware scrolling support. Right. This time, mate, I'm not going to fall for your tricks. Ha <laughs> ha! Screw you, shell boy! Run! Run! Oh! God, this is really quite tricky using the keyboard. Ah, oh, precise jumping as well. As you can see, we've got different coloured backgrounds here. I do love the Spectrum's high resolution graphics. He was hiding in a bush! Oh, come on, man! This game is actually harder than the first Mario because you've got these foreground objects. I should switch them off. Impressive, though, but we've got that. We've got different layers of... Um... Ah, graphics, not just background. Oh, you absolute cretin! You should be called Super Cretin Brothers. Possibly only when I'm playing, though. Come on. Come on, Mario. There's no rings in... No rings? This isn't Sonic. There's no coins, is there? I haven't seen any coins. That would just kill the Spectrum, wouldn't it? If we had coins rotating on screen, the Spectrum would just die miserably. It's done well to do this. Very well. Oh, my God. Oh, well, you killed yourself. Nice one, mate. Have you just realised it's not an official Mario game? Screw this, guys! Alright, oh my god, I can't do this at all. I was always more of a fan of Sonic than Mario, I must say! But Mario is a good game in its own right. Can I land on them? No, I can't. I can't do a bum flop. Let's go! Oh, oh my god, this is triptastically hard. There's nothing in these question marks, as you can see. Again, that would be a bit much for the old spectrum. Oh, can I go down this pipe? Nope. Oh god, that was close. Oh my god. How am I fluking it through? Ah! This is better than the normal Mario Brothers. This is much enjoyment. Have I got to start from the start again? Oh, come on. Right, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not going to get through this, am I? This is just a bit too tricky for my liking. Oh, we didn't take out the other sh... Oh, we've got a death sound. I didn't hear that, um... Dilaloo! Before. Interesting. So I guess after this Spectrum one's done, I'll have to try and find one for the Amstrad CPC. Possibly, oh, it'd be nice if there was a BBC Micro one. Good God, man, get a grip of yourself. Go back to plumbing, that's what you're good at. Stop flouncing about random levels of intricate complexity. All right, come on, one more time. Alright. Oh! We are cruising now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. Oh, yeah! I say watch this. Just in case, you know, you're doing something else while this video's on, which... Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Just give up. Get a job or something. Stop convincing yourself that you can play a game. This is the last one I'm going to do. If I can't get through this, then I am out of here. He's down. He is down. Yeah, of course, it takes a reasonable amount of processing power for the Spectrum to output music at the same time. Not, yeah, not great detail, de deal, because... No, oh, you've done it again, you dickhead! All right, one more time. One more time. All right. Also, I just noticed we haven't got the uh, status bar at the top with the scoring that only appears at the level interval. Which is fair enough. It's all fair enough, really. The Russians are good at pouring out some pretty good games, aren't they? For this old hardware. They just went for it. When everyone else was abandoning the 8-bit machines, they were like, no, no, we're not going to abandon you. We are going to create some absolutely awesome games for this piece of kit. And it's amazing that the Russian clones were made by amateur 
Amateur Russian? That sounds odd. <coughs> amateur um, enthusiasts, and, and then released. Because the Russian don't give a shit. They're like, copyright? Who gives a crap? That's, that's a UK problem. They just went, yeah, that's nice, some nice hardware. We could do with some of that. We'll make some. Mm, make some. Oh god, can I get out of here? Let's try jumping. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. This is amazingly addictive and incredibly frustrating. I'm gonna concentrate now. Alright, that's that one done. Okay, next bit. He comes under here, yep, we've got the bloke in the grass, over him, okay, over that, over that, over that, over shell guy, right, they, they all come down here, yep, jump over them, alright, it's harder because we haven't got any big Marios in this game, that's the problem, that's what I'm blaming it on, oh god, and they keep jumping all over the place, Okay, now he will come down here. Yep, spectacular. They'll... Ah! Oh, God, please! Just let me get through this in one piece. Absolutely shocking. Right, this time, this time. Just, just, just go for it. Don't go for it. Concentrate. Go back to concentrating. That was working better for you until you made a pivotal mistake. Run, jump, run, kill, oh, jump, jump. You can see why the control pad was invented. It is just better for this sort of situation. Keyboard has its own merits, and it was good for the majority of the Spectrum games, but the majority of the Spectrum games weren't like this. We had a slower pace, and that, this isn't running quick, but. Sh shocking, shocking, shocking! Absolutely shocking, man! This isn't really a quick play anymore, is it? It's a horrendously slow and painful to watch play. But I'm gonna get through it! Regardless of what you think, you can sit there judging me, but it's fine. I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for myself. Right, you come down. Good boy. You go up there. Watch out for grass. Attack. Yep, good work. Jump over. Run. Jump over. Run. Jump. 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 To be honest, you can... If you lot want to just go and make a cup of tea or something and come back in about an hour, I should have cracked it and then you can carry on with your lives. Oh, you can just stop the video, can't you? Oh, God! <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to everyone. You'd think that being a retro gaming enthusiast I'd have this sort of genre nailed, but apparently not. This is why I don't cover much Nintendo. Nintendo just destroys me. Alright. Over we go. Over the pipe. Over that. Yep. Yeah. Come on, this time. This time I'm doing it. Up there. Up there. Wait for him. Don't wait for him. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Run! Jump! Jump! Jump back! Jump! Jump! Wait for him. Okay, okay, is this is the furthest I've ever got. I think this is the furthest I've oh! <laughs> Oh god, this is genuine frustration! Oh, those little bastards keep jumping! Right. Please. No! This 
hold it together. Just hold it together, please. I don't think I've ever got so involved in a demo in my life. Why do you mock me, game? Why? Why do you mock me, you Russian bastards? Nothing against Russians, by the way. Nothing at all. Well, I didn't until now. The playing field has changed somewhat. Putin. You bastard. You communist bastard. This is what communism does. It creates... Mario games which are ten times harder than the original. I've made a bit of a problem for myself down there, haven't I? I've made that situation pretty difficult for myself. Uh, but I get through it. I'm through it. I'm through it. He scores. He... he okay, we're back here. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to kill myself. Okay, come on, man, come on, come on. Oh, we've got some severe slowdown. Oh, God, it's unbearable. Come on, you come over here. Oh, you bouncing bastard! <laughs> oh, God, I feel like crying. I, I feel like crying, but all I'm doing is dying. Supposed to come back out of his shell, is he? Do we do that? No idea. Okay. 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 All right. The time is right. The time is now. Today is the day of the golden cow. Oh, he's got some speed now, hasn't he? I've done it again. I've cre created a massive issue for myself. Okay. It wasn't as hard as I thought. Oh, God! Oh, God! <sighs> Alright. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This time. Oh, there's so many of them. I can't... I... I... I can't... I don't think I can... I don't think I can even make that. Oh, God. Please don't die. Yeah, I feel like you're so close to the end. If I die now, then my entire life is no longer worth living. Some, there's some rings! My god, there's rings! There's coins! It feels like it's entirely worth it now. I thought that was the end pyramid. Oh god! Don't die, please, whatever you do. There's some more There's some more coins, excellent. I know I've been more pleased to see coins. Oh my god. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick! You bastard! I was so close to the end, you absolute cretin fucker! This is, this is, right, shit's got serious now. This isn't an entertainment video anymore. This is, this is a serious as shit video. I, I don't think I can even replicate getting as far as I just did again. I know Spectrum games are hard. I know they were always notoriously hard. But you didn't need to replicate that, guys. You could have just toned it down a bit. You could have said, oh, this is a Nintendo game. It's supposed to be easier. It's supposed to be more for children. We don't need any of that Spectrum difficulty shiz. We can just... 
we can just forget about that and just make a fun game. A game which won't cause anger or stress. It will just make people happy like Nintendo games are supposed to. They're supposed to make people happy and joyous, not angry as hell and frustrated and in need of a bottle of vodka. That's why, isn't it? It's Russian. I just, it's to sell vodka. That's the only goal here, is to sell your distilled potato spirit. I've got your number. God's sake, man. Just stick to plumbing. Get your NVQ in plumbing. And just do that. You don't need to go through all this pain every time. You don't need to run around these fantasy lands. Just do your plumbing and get the hell out of there. People will tip you. People will pay you to fiddle with their stopcocks. You don't need this excitement in your life. Please die. Yes, thank you. Right, come over here. Come on, come over here. Okay. Oh, sh- <laughs> Why didn't you fall down the hole? <sighs> Fuck, I'm sweating my tits off doing this. You don't need to go to a gym. Just pick a retro game that is frustrating as hell and play it. How long have I been doing this for? What is the meaning of my life anymore? Why do I even... Why am I even alive? Alright, come on, Dick Stain. Just get through the fucking game, you absolute cretin lump. This is going to be the proudest achievement of my life if I get through this. Don't be a dick! Excellent. Do you remember playing games like this when things, you know... You, when I was younger, I used to just play games and over and over and just try and get through them. And this is when things were challenging and exciting. And this isn't even made from that, this is from 2002, but it's capturing that thing perfectly. And I think the slow down is helping quite a bit. Because it's adding that extra Oh, that was a nice move, wasn't it? Oh, I'm getting skillful. No, don't get cocky. Just... Shit will go wrong. Okay. Alright. Screw you guys! Screw you! And your mama too! Daddy. Do you know when you get to that point where you just you just it it just becomes disappointing. It it's no longer angry or frustration. You are just really disappointed in yourself. Like when like when a child is. See, I'm so disappointed in myself for doing that. If anyone's still watching this video at this point, then A, I'm really sorry. B, thank you for um, joining me on this quest of epic lunacy. 
I just thought, I know, I'll just, I'll just sit down and play a nice a Mario clone because it'll, it's relaxing. It's a relaxing thing to do, and I'll make a video at the same time, and everyone, everyone's a winner. And it turns out that the only thing that's come out of this are losers. I'm losing. You lot are probably losing for watching this. Because, you know, you're thinking, oh, I'll come and watch a video and it'll, it'll be nice to just watch a bit of retro gaming. And now you're stuck watching this atrocity of playing. And I'm sorry about that. I'm not con okay, I've lost my concentration. Concentrate again. <sighs> Such an easy, touch an early point in the game as well. Such an, an unbelievably early point in the game, and you've fucked it like an absolute turkey. It'd be easier if shells killed other enemies like they do in Mario. They just go through them. Okay. It's all quiet on the Western Front. This bit. This bit is an arse burglar. Oh, it speeds up at certain points. You, don't, you really don't want it to. You just want it to be either slow or quick and not just lose its plot and just go off on one because then the pacing is all out and everything is out and your life gets ruined even more and so he's a he's a dick isn't he he's a dick as well what makes these people think it's acceptable to just be in this game when they're absolute dickheads we're back here again he's gonna kill himself which is nice and then we've got fuck stain I, I just don't know what to do about that cretin I just don't know how to deal with him it's like he's there just to piss me off him It's a good job there's infinite lives of this, isn't there? Because otherwise... Fucking hell. I apologise for the profanities. It's inevitable. Don't ever download this game, anyone. Don't think, oh, I know, I'll just have a go on that Mario game for the Spectrum and see what it's like. Your life will be ruined. Don't even consider it. Don't think it's a good idea, even for a second. Just get that shit out of your mind, because this is the worst thing you could ever do with your life. This is the biggest mistake you can ever make. This is alone the, the thing that could ruin my entire life. How long have I been here for? How long is this video going on for? I have no idea. All I know but I, is that I've regretted starting it massively. Massively. I could be sitting, drinking a cup of tea, reading Retro Gamer magazine. I could be putting a hard disk in an Amiga 600 
I could be polishing my spectrum and that is not a euphemism. I don't know how I survived that, but that's how shit goes down in this game. Little things will kill you and the rest of it you'll just sail through, apparently. With some sort of fluke of as... Oh, dickheads! <sighs> Fuck me, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? He made this again? Perspective group. This is... The author was Goggin. Goggin, you a dickhead! You're more of a dickhead for giving me infinite lives because you know that this is going to happen. How did this game win your game 2002? Well, how did it even come third? Did you cause this massive addiction for people? Piss off, Shell. Jump! Jump, jump! Everybody go, jump, jump! PJ and Duncan. Of course, they're called Ant and Deck now, aren't they? Ant and Deck. Why? Why didn't they just stay as PJ and Duncan? Boyka Grove, isn't it? That's not a Newcastle accent, though, is it? It sounds more like talking like a Norfolk accent. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because. I don't know what's happening anymore. <sighs> My giddy aunt. Fucking all right now. All right, uh, up we go, up we go. We're getting so close again, aren't we? But then, traumatic things happen when you're close. I bloody hate those tortoise bastards. to die savagely. <laughs> How am I supposed to make that jump? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, I've fucking done it! I fu oh my god, yes! Oh, I've fucking done it! I've done it! Oh! Oh no! 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 I'm not doing another world! I'm not doing it! I'm not doing going through this pain! No! 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 That, no! No! God! No! What? This isn't even a Super Mario Bros. 1 level. It's on the sea! I'm on, I'm on the sea! I'm on, I'm on the bloody sea! Oh! God, I hate this game! Why do you keep making me play it so much? I think I'm going to end on a high note. And that high note has been the end of level 2. Because otherwise, I'm going to lose my entire day. Although I just want to see what is after those flying fish. It's an addiction, isn't it? This is a proper problem I've got going on here. I'm afraid you've been uh, diagnosed with Super Mario Brothers Spectrum Demo Itis Addiction. There is no cure. The only cure is to complete the game, which is impossible! Fuck it! 
I'm off. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I said I'd show you what it was like in turbo mode. And this is what it's like in turbo mode. This is what it's like with the Z80 processor running at 7 megahertz rather than uh, 3, 4, whatever it runs at normally. I can't even remember. As you can see, it's a much more playable game. If only I'd played it like this from the start, things would have been so much better. And as you can see, we've got backgrounds with... I, I know, he's apparently he's in space now and stars are whizzing by, or oh, shitloads of dust and debris. But it is a much more playable game at 7 megahertz. I imagine we'll see things like this come out of the Spectrum next when it arrives. It's actually really, it's actually really good now. God, I spent half an hour, over half an hour, trudging through, and if only I'd just been less of a fucking purist! about the clock speed then I could have played the game which was acceptable although I'm apparently worse at it now anyway this is Super Mario Bros on turbo speed and it's delightful on the spectrum of all machines which I've grown less fond of in the last half an hour than the entire rest rest of my life combined Rocket! See you later!